The Delancey family welcomed baby Ronan home in May, but what should have been a joyous time turned frightening just a week later, when mom and dad, Kat and Mitch noticed a change, which prompted a trip to the ER. They told CBS News, As soon as I walked into the hospital, he stopped breathing. He was fussier, he wasn't eating quite as well, um, and he had some redness on his chest. It got even scarier when Ronan started having seizures. At first, doctors were baffled as to what went wrong. Four days later, he was diagnosed with parechial virus. It's extremely rare to find, but it might not be that rare because they don't ever really look for it. Parechial virus is pretty common in children, but can be far more severe in babies younger than three months old. It can also raise the risk of longer term developmental problems or can even be fatal. Ronan had severe swelling and tissue damage in his brain. He didn't make it. Going from like the best days of our lives to, you know, having our child die in our arms. The CDC recently issued this alert with doctors in multiple states reporting cases in infants. It can look like the child has what we call sepsis, which is a very severe infection. And it can also be associated with meningitis, which is basically an inflammation of the lining that surrounds the brain. The CDC issued this message in hopes more doctors will recognize this disease. There is no antiviral treatment. Patients receive supportive care. Rehydration, putting them on medication to suppress seizures, and giving them other forms of supportive measures that can help them while their body clears the virus. I want Ronan to have a legacy. I don't want another family to go through this. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Stephanie Officer.